aimed at tackling the causes of domestic violence at a grassroots level. It may not look like a classroom, but these young rugby league players are being drilled. We talk about the ripple effect of domestic violence in our communities and what we're going to do, we're going to do it through a game of scissors, paper, rock. They're the latest crop involved in a state government program, using football as a way to teach boys what's acceptable behaviour. Doing it in footy clubs because the rates of domestic violence are higher in rugby league players than they are in any other code or in any other work. What we do them in the football clubs is because um, they are role models within their communities. It's now running in 19 regional clubs and has been picked up by teams at Redfern and Campbelltown. A similar campaign has been started by the NRL, but the government says this program's grassroots approach is what's needed. By the time somebody becomes an elite NRL player, yes, they've gone through uh, the local club and they might have had tackling violence, but there will be some for whom that message hasn't been heard. The program is designed to teach young players how to separate the skills and strength they learn here on the football field with how they act and behave at home. But there are differing opinions as to whether that's realistic. If coaches are sort of gearing an athlete to go out onto the field to win at all costs, to commit you know, acts of thuggery that wouldn't be acceptable on the street, um, and then expecting them to walk off the field and be respectable, responsible citizens, then clearly the program won't have achieved its aims. On the field here, players say the message is getting through. It kind of connects better with us. It's like we learn better through activity and stuff, more than like sitting in a classroom. A lesson that requires a pass. Joanna Woodburn, ABC News.